Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country ninety six. My country ninety six point one. Did anyone hear that? Candy told me to shut up while I was doing <laughs> doing the intro. Uh, we are uh, gonna be seventy five. A lot of rain. Uh, you may get a, a little bit of sun late, 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 like right before sunset almost. But um, it's supposed to be a lot of rain, thunderstorms throughout the island today. Uh, Candy is just off the air reading about Aaron Rodgers and feeling not too good about herself this morning. Well, when they say, well, he's approaching 40, age is a factor. He's not even 40 yet. Age is a factor. I said, oh my, I must be climbing Mount Everest at this point. Yeah, yeah. And you laughed and I told you to shut up. So there you have it. Well, (laughs) and if you're climbing Mount Everest, I have just put the gear on for Mount Everest and the guide has come to meet me and we are putting yep. our our first our first foot onto the mountain right now. We are getting ready to uh to head up Mount Everest. Yes. Uh I'll meet you at the top, Candy, okay? Yes, let's let's make a date. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. Um I I once again, uh, with that in mind, would like to thank my parents for not allowing me to play football in high school. Oh, again, we have to hear this. Listen, I remember giving them a hard time. I wanted to play, you know, I I wanted to play football. That's what I wanted to do. And um, I don't know how much of a hard time I gave them. I probably, you know, gave up on it uh, pretty quickly, but... Um, I want to thank them for uh, holding strong to their convictions because I would have been very injured and uh, you'd not still too be good. recovering. Oh my God! Yeah, the way I am now, I mean. Oh on. please! I can't even <clears throat> think about it. Give me a break. Uh, so yeah, that's why Candy uh, don't read articles. You should not read <laughs> stuff. <laughs> not good. Oh. Yeah. Some things don't make you feel good about yourself. Yeah. When, then I was listening to the entertainment news on television last night, and they were saying, oh, you know, people are saying, well, bring back Tom Brady to the Jets. I said it first early yesterday morning, did I not? I said, mm. where's Tom Brady? And then I went so far as to say, where's Joe Namath? Because that's yeah. the last time the Jets won a Super Bowl. Right. And listen, Tom Brady is not going to be a Jet. No, I was kidding. Yeah, not going to happen. Um, but yeah, they need to, uh, figure out a plan and so does candy, obviously after be quiet over there reading too much. All right. I, but you know, I'm going to make you feel better candy. All right. I, I have a town for you to visit. It's in Portugal, Levira, L E V I R A. All right. The town is near the coast. It's about 150 miles North of Lisbon. Sounds There's good. A, Okay. There's a big distillery there, a wine distillery. Oh. And you should have been there because on Sunday, two holding tanks full of wine broke open. Oh, no. 600,000 gallons of red wine spilled wow. into the streets of La Vera, Candy. That is so sad. Yes. Now, the distillery is still looking into what happened took full responsibility. They'll cover the cleanup. Nobody was hurt. It's all good with that. Um, At one person's basement was flooded. But, you know, this begs the question. Flooded with wine. Well, this begs the question. If your basement was flooded with wine from a distillery, would you not go grab some jugs and cookie jars and start scooping it up? See, the wine had a bit of a trip to make it to my basement, and that's the part that disgusts me. Oh. So, no, I would not. As much oh. as it sounds great, think about the wine's path to get to the basement. I didn't think about that, really. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. Yeah, that's, uh, it, you know, reminds it's me of... It's a shame. Char- it's a big waste. The uh, Willy Wonka, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the the, the river of chocolate, very uh. Uh, disgusting. I mean... So pe- tempting to jump in, though. <laughs> ah, you're dipping your hands in there, people jumping in there, and... Who knows what the Oompa Loompas were doing in there? Yeah, I don't. Who knows what was going? I mean, when I saw uh, the the Gene Hackman take a flower, pick a flower out of the ground and start eating it, or whatever he was doing. Gene Wilder. Gene Gene Wilder. Sorry. (laughs) 
Gene Wilder. By the way, I love both of them. Uh, they're great actors. Yes. Uh, yeah, Gene Hackman and Gene Wilder. But, um, yeah, disgusting. So, all right, so you're not going to uh to I'm not, town. although, you know, it's a tempting thought, but if you think hard about it, it becomes disgusting. So, no. All right, let me give you something else that's disgusting that makes me feel old as well. A new study uh, from young adults and what they feel about grammar. And they say, overall, majority say, we don't care about spelling. We don't care about grammar. The young kids today, Candy, the periods, the commas, the quotation marks, they don't care. I Um, fit right in now. I never cared. Really? I had a professor in college tell me I was grammatically illiterate. Nothing makes me more angry than (laughs) bad grammar. Don't you ever notice when I'm sending you a text that's a little longer than my usual? It's always dot, dot, dot. Here's a thought, dot, dot, dot. Here's another thought, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, there's no grammar. So I'm not against the dot, dot, dot. I think that's a nice way to separate in a text, you know? Yeah. Um, It's almost like a yada, yada, yada sort of situation. Right. Uh, You know? Um, Yeah, but... uh, Oh, I finally fit in. I'm back with the young crowd. I feel much better. (laughs) Dot, dot, dot is is okay. Uh, In a new survey, less than a quarter of Gen Zers, under 25%, actually use... Periods, commas, quotation marks. Wow. I mean, this is because of texting, obviously. Uh, and when you speak text, it just goes on and on and on, and you, you don't usually get the grammar. Uh, for comparison, more than half of people over the age of 65 say they are sticklers for proper grammar. Well, I'm Can't. too young for that group, but now I'm in the youngest of all. I'm thrilled. See, I got my life back. I mean, do you know just a quarter of people between 18 and 24 years old use capital letters? Are you kidding me? You know, I used when I first started texting, that's what I was doing. And then Ellen had to reprimand me and said, what do you keep yelling about? I said, what are you talking about? I'm yelling. She goes, when you put things in capitals, that means you're yelling. I said, what? Uh, She's not. Well, it depends on the scenario, but she's not wrong. I do think that caps can signify yelling on text i mean exclamations do for sure i was just doing all caps because it was easy so oh your your whole message was right. in caps correct oh so you yeah when i first just... started texting a hundred years ago yes <laughs> you're just someone who didn't know how to use a phone that's correct all. correct she yeah had to reprimand me which she loves to do yeah yeah, you and your girlfriends have a strange relationship oh we love each other we had a great lunch on sunday we just it's the best. I love it. Yeah. Did we even discuss what was on the menu at your lunch? Oh, on Sunday? she had fresh prosciutto, and she went. She went to Italy in this in Mar in May. She went to a cooking class, and they showed her how to make authentic bruschetta. You know, the tomatoes with the basil and the garlic on toasted bread. <laughs> yes, I it's know the bruschetta. Fabulous, <laughs> unbelievable. By the way, however you pronounce it. Um, I've always said bruschetta, but it's bruschetta, whatever, whatever it is. The the thing, the fact that you had to describe what it was, like we all don't know what that is. I think that's very funny, Candy. Well, yes. I'm glad I'm amusing you today. Yes. So wait. So she brought. I, I'm sorry because I, I I zoned out when you had to describe the dish. You to me. zoned out. Wait, did, did she? She brought it back from Italy. No, she went to a class, a cooking class in Italy. Got it. And this was one of the things they were teaching, how to make proper bruschetta or bruschetta or shut up. <laughs> Understand that? And, and she made that for you ladies. And she's been making it since she got home. And I have to tell, she has nailed it. It's the best ever I've ever had in any restaurant, anywhere, period, bar none. The best. Very nice. I One day. One day, Ellen. One day. Yeah. Yeah. You've got right. to try it. That's cool. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time. You and your yeah. girls. Oh, yeah. uh, love the girls. We get a yeah. lot of good good talking in. Everybody wants to be a fly on the wall. Yes, we all do. Uh, Candy, we're less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful. We also have your National Days. Good news stories uh, next hour. We will get to all that. But a lot of rain today. Rain and thunderstorms rolling through. 
Uh, a lot of areas uh, covered with it already. Should be most of the afternoon. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.